Hi yo, welcome back to Bam Glam DIY. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a powerful whitening bleach for washing your white fabrics and also for disinfectant purposes. Welcome back to my channel. This is Bam Glam DIY. So I would like you to help me and like this video, subscribe to my channel so that more people will see my video. Also leave an encouraging comment in the comment section so that people will also see this video. So we are making a total of 40 liters of bleach. This bleach, you are going to make it to have more strength in order to remove stains, stuff stains on white. So if you are interested in this video, don't worry, stay behind. I'll be listing every detail on the screen so you can just use a pen and paper and write it down. It will also be listed down in the description box so you can just go there and have a screenshot of it. So what is this liquid bleach? What is liquid bleach? Everybody's talking about liquid bleach. Bam Glam, how can I make a very powerful liquid bleach for this purpose of whitening fabrics? That can remove tough stains on clothes the thing is just by the proportion of the chemicals by how to formulate it so i made this recipe to be able to suit people who are interested in making liquid bleach that does not only disinfect their environment their homes purify their water but it should also help to whiten their fabrics when they use it to wash so we are, as I said, we are making 40 liters, but I started off with 20 liters. To that 20 liters, I added one kg of caustic soda and then one and a half kg of soda ash dense. You can use the soda ash light if that is what you have. You can also use the soda ash dense. The thing is, soda ash dense and light are actually the same thing. They both compose of the same thing chemically, which is sodium carbonate. The only difference between soda ash light and soda ash dense is just their weight, their density, how they appear. One is finer and one is more porous. Soda ash light is used mainly for powder detergent, while the dense can be used in any other production that doesn't actually need the soda ash to be in fine particles because it can all dissolve in water. Soda ash is also known as washing soda and this is where your power and your strength lies. It is alkaline and the pH falls around 11.4. Normally, I'm supposed to make this particular production with just 1 kg of soda ash, but increasing it to up to 1.5 can do you good for your whites. So, soda ash, also known as uh, washing soda, can pull off tough stains on your fabric like white. It can even remove oil stains on your clothes. Let's take for instance, you have your children soil their clothes with palm oil or so just soaking their their fabrics their clothes with this bleach and you see how effectively it will work do not exceed 1.2 or 2 kg the higher you go in the washing soda it may actually affect your clothes because i know you are thinking right now why don't i make use of almost 3 kg of uh, soda ash in this particular formula the thing is if you increase the washing soda too much just for you to whiten your cloth fastly it will it will actually whiten the cloth immediately you pour it into the cloth it will whiten it but it will weaken your fabric because of the high alkalinity already in this particular production they may tend to weaken your fabric and make them very light for instance you can use it and wash your bed sheets subsequently and you may notice that the bed sheets uh, the bed covers will start losing strength if you just put your finger through it your finger may just easily tear it so that is the effect of using too much bleach that has too much a uh, concentration of uh, soda ash in it so you have to be mindful of how you add it and then also i believe that no matter how the strength is when people are buying this uh, powder uh, this liquid 
uh, the, this liquid uh, bleach from you they don't actually make use of it raw they tend to dilute it out in their water before they soak so it will go well you understand so what i mean is just follow the quantities i'm using what i'm adding now is chlorine chlorine has a very foul smell a very bad smell try as much as possible to measure it at once and then pour in i'm using two kg of chlorine powder it comes in pellets there are different types of it this chlorine is very cheap in the market it's as cheap as 2500 per kg for this 40 liters production the cost of production is not more than 7000 naira and then you sell it and sell it well i know that there is this brand of chlorine called urex that is as expensive as uh, 4,700 naira per kg. That means 2 kg is almost roughly 9,000 naira or 9,004. But I would suggest you look for other brands or you buy from people who are into sharing in Lagos. Tell them to share the, the full container of the bleach for you if you want to go into bleach business. I would not suggest you buying it in little quantity. But even if you buy it in little quantity as cheap as 2500 per kg, you will still be having maximum profit. Like I said, this 40 liters production did not cost me more than 8,000 naira to make. 7 to 8,000 naira to make. And each liter is being sold as high as 750 per liter or 800 per liter. You can do the math and see the outcome that will come from this. If you are making bleach for business, I wouldn't also suggest you starting with things like 5 liters. I would suggest you add start with bulk production. Let's take for instance 20 liters, 40 liters, 50 liters, 60 liters. Dear, you do your spending at once and then you calculate how you are going to sell it. You make massive money from it. The profit margin in bleach, liquid bleach making is actually more than 100%. If you know what you are doing, it's actually more than 200% profit margin. So once you are done mixing everything, you have to use something to mix it. Please don't put your, num your, your bare hands into your production. Also remember to cover your nose while doing this production. You can now add in the rest of the 20 liters of water. But I would suggest you make it 24 liters of water with an extra 4 liters. Ask me why you need this 4 liters of water extra. Everything we added in, into it, especially the chlorine, all of them will settle beneath. And when you try filtering, you, you have to cover it and set it aside for three days. You will now see there are some lumps underneath. And these lumps underneath may take up some volume of water from it. At the end of this production, after different stages of filtration, you may end up having only 40 liters. So if you start with 40 liters, you have less. So this is after three days of uh, making this production. I always come back to it and turn it regularly. I don't just leave it without turning it. You have to be checking it. Even if it's 6, six hourly of 12 or 12, 12 hourly, come back and turn it. Because whenever you open it, you will see the chlorine floating on the surface. You need to use your turning, your turning stick, break it down and mix it very well. So uh, at the third day, I opened it. Most of it have settled below, but you still get to that part. But I would suggest you now start filtering it. Use a cheesecloth, use anything you have, <clears throat> use a sieve, use a bucket and start filtering your bleach. Nobody wants to buy liquid bleach from you and it becomes a, and it becomes milky or creamy. Filter it. Once you finish filtering it, allow it again for another 24 hours. So this is it after 24 hours of me filtering the first one. Can you see how clear it has become? Now you have to carefully and gently start scooping out this clean bleach back into your production vessel. This is not the vessel we use in making it before. So just carefully scoop it and leave the creamy part or the chalky part underneath it. Filter this one differently. 
when the bottom has filtered well before you can join it to your main production so that you don't spoil it so just gradually you do it and your bleach is is ready this is a very beautiful production if you want to go into it and i bet you you enjoy it after making it try as much as possible to use it sample it you can use it with washing machine machine you can use it with your bare hands and wash any which way now way thank you for watching my video up to this end thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for liking my video supporting me all through this growth i appreciate Thank you all.